Wooden Boxing Incorporated presents the world's light heavyweight championship bout featuring champion Dick Tiger of the Republic of Biafra versus challenger Roger Rouse of Anaconda, Montana from Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. 15 rounds. Hi, everyone. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator at the ringside of the beautiful Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. And a big crowd is waiting with great anticipation what promises to be a very fine bout between the champion, Dick Tiger, and the challenger, Roger Rouse of Montana. All right, this promotion this evening, ladies, of boxing for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, from Anaconda, Montana, weighing 174 and a half pounds, the challenger, Roger Rouse. Rouse. Over a thousand fans have come from Montana to see this fight. And introducing, from the Republic of the Opera, weighing 168 and a quarter pounds, the light heavyweight champion of the world, Dick Tiger. 15 rounds of boxing. Instructions by the referee. Round one coming out of the two. Six years older. Six pounds lighter. At 168 and a half. signifies that the contest is all over. The winner and still light heavyweight champion of the world, a great fighter, Dick Tiger. A very unhappy corner of Roger Rouse. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, 12 seconds of the 12th round by knockout, the winner and still light heavyweight champion of the world, Dick Tiger. We're going to try to get Dick Tiger over to the microphone. Dick, come on. Dick talking to uh, Roger Rouse. Come on over here, Dick. Sorry. Uh, Dick, in just a moment, we're going to replay the knockout. But first, I want to congratulate you. First, on uh, the fact that you are a new father, your your wife gave uh, birth to a baby girl, seven pounds, seven days ago, and your seventh child, right? Thank you. Here's a replay of the knockout. Now, take a look at yourself and tell us what's happening here in the 12th round. What's happening, Dick? Oh, thank you. It's coming. I sent the, I sent the right hand and the connected left that got him by the jaw. I think that was it. And uh, he was moving back while I was, uh, you know, checking him. You know, he's, a, he's taller than myself. And, uh, Just a minute. We got an intruder here. You see, in this court, you see, he has just, uh, I got him in the corner, I think in the second or third round. And, uh, and um, you know, he brought me with head, because I'm glad I won the fight. Do you think it was a butt he got you? Yeah, the left it was. It now listen, uh, to be perfectly honest, I thought Rouse was winning the fight up until the sixth round. Now, what did you think? I don't know. I, I'm in there to fight. I don't know what's happening. You know, you, know. you didn't care. I, you weren't I, worried. I don't get, uh, I don't get to start early. You know, I, I get start late. Y you know it was a 15-round bout, so yeah, you weren't so going to hurry. Yeah, yeah. Because I know I was going to get him because right, I, what, what, what are the plans? I'm going to ask Jersey Jones, your manager, to come in yeah. here. Jersey, what are the plans now? Well, Don, I've always maintained that you don't cross the second bridge till you're over the first one. Well, you're over we, this one. Yeah, we had to get over this one. We have no plans at the moment. There are several uh, very good offers, but we'll take a little time to consider them. Do you think Rouse merits another chance? Well, let him, uh, if he get beat, say, Tories, Jose Tories, I think that would do it. 
I think Ross made a very, very good fight, but Tiger was just too damn strong for him and too hard a puncher. Oh, he's a real good fighter, this Mr. Yeah. Tiger. Thank you very much, Jersey, and good luck. Go Dick, pleasure, congratulations. The people in Biafra must be very proud of you. Thank you.